Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, several documents were stolen in the recent break-in at the Indian Air Force's Rafale Project Management Team office in France, but a crucial hard disk was left behind by the culprits, and it is still unclear if the hard disk was accessed by the culprits. The exact nature of the missing documents is yet to be determined, and the Indian Air Force has identified the likely information that would have been leaked from the nature of the documents taken, and it might be related to supply protocols, routine communications, and details related to specific systems, but it does not include price of the aircraft. In a similar incident in 2016, 22,400 documents containing technical details of Indian Navy's Scorpion-class conventional submarines were leaked by a former French Navy officer working with the Naval Group. According to an expert, the strategic partnership policy was initially intended to encourage broader participation of the private sector, but it has now developed into an area in which government-owned public sector units seem to have a clear advantage. Two critical projects which is expected to start within the next three months includes the MMRCA tender and project B75I, which promises to give the public sector an unfair advantage. Mazagin Docks Limited has a clear advantage over its only competitor Larsen and Tubro due to the infrastructure investment which is already in place. Experts have said that taking the strategic partnership policy back to its real purpose would go a long way in the success of Make in India. A former chief of the Indian Navy has said that the new defense minister should personally monitor and guide the Tejas program, so that the experience and data generated by designers, engineers and flight test teams are not wasted, and this database should be used to sustain a long-term fighter jet design and production process. He also added, that even if the naval variant does not come up to the qualitative requirements for a deck-based fighter, its induction as a carrier-borne fighter jet should be pursued for the development of a naval advanced combat aircraft. He also raised concern on the indigenous cavalry engine project, which is an unfinished DRDO project of national importance. According to latest reports, the Indian Army is keeping an eye on a road construction project being undertaken by the Chinese Army, across the line of actual control in the Demchok sector in the Ladakh region. The officials have said that India has also undertaken similar construction on its side of the line of actual control, and border mechanisms are in place to resolve any emerging issues. As many as 264 trainees have passed out on the 25th of May from the Indian Naval Academy, comprising midshipmen and cadets of the Indian Navy Indian Coast Guard and 10 international cadets. The foreign cadets include two trainees each from Maldives Seychelles and Myanmar, and one trainee from Tanzania and three trainees from Sri Lanka.